Hi, welcome back to this week's report. Once again, it's been a fantastic bite out on the mud flats, on the gravel bars. Once again, this week we are rigging, uh, pulling spinners have been working very well. You know, June's one of those months where you can just about fish any way you want to and catch walleyes. It's all about finding numbers of fish and finding concentrations of fish. And like most years, there's spots where it's absolutely loaded and then other spots don't have any fish and then you find the fish are moving up and down the brake lines every single day. So it's really important to drive around until you find fish and then key in on those pods of fish. Fish on, nice work, Mike. <laughs> he just pounded it, huh, Mike? Yeah. Oh, beauty. Oh, nice fish. Perfect. That's a great way to start out the day, huh, Mike? Fish on. All right. And that's the key part is just finding fish first. You know, I, I say it all the time out here and in seminars, but it's true. You got to find the fish before you start fishing. If you just pull up to a spot and wet a line, you know, these fish are moving day to day. You know, there's times where they're up on top of the flats or up on top of the rocks, the wind quits, they dive off to the edge, and they've been moving every day. As these bug hatches start to emerge, you're going to see bait fish movements, and then of course the walleyes are going to follow. Another nice walleye. And the bite's been a lot of the same. My techniques have been the same as last week and the week before. I've been finding most of the fish going on rigs, especially those troll car revolves when you're using night crawlers. Uh, I mix it up a little bit, like the anglers I have in the boat, I'll have one guy on a leech, the next guy on a crawler, and we'll see which bites better any particular day. You know, Some of the days the, the leech bite's been better, other days they really want that revolve hook. You really don't have to put a lot of pressure on those hooks, they just do the work for you. That's the one thing this year, a lot of the fish, especially on calmer, sunny days, the fish have been really tight to the bottom. So you've got to drive around and look really carefully as you're graphing. You can't go five, six miles an hour. You've got to go slow over the top of the fish to see those fish. A lot of them are just laying right belly to the bottom. What a fatty. Nice looking fish. Yeah. What a hog. Yep. Nice looking walleye. Let's get this girl back in the water. And really for late June, the surface temperatures are very, very cool. Typically this time of year, you'd expect surface temperatures to be much higher, but because of the cold spring, Surface temps in the lower 60s, it's great. The fish are fighting, they're active. It'll help with that hooking mortality. Uh, the fish are just, it, it feels more like early June. That's what I like about these hooks, is that they always get hooked perfectly in the mouth as long as you're not feeding them line. You just drop that rod tip back and then let that rod load up and they, they always get in there just perfect in the mouth. Here you go, Mike. All right, got a double here. Fish have been just cracking this morning, getting lots of big fish, getting eaters, even some small fish. If you're coming up to the lake this week, the biggest thing is that you're looking around and looking for pods of fish before you drop in. And then of course, just the eight foot leaders, the troll cars, number twos and number fours. You can go from octopus hooks for leeches, revolve hooks for night crawlers, start putting big fish in the boat. Hey, until next week, I'm Tony Roach.
We'll see you on the water.